If you're anything like me, you take a lot of notes, notes on everything. You know, I need to organize my life all the time with notes. Anything that comes into my head, take it down. Anything that I think about, take it down. Ideas I have, take it down because I can't remember things. I'm a space cadet. You guys know this. So what does my system look like inside of my notes? If I just took them down randomly and it was just a, like opened it up and it was just thousands of notes in there just random, how can you find things? How can you make it useful? How can you actually pay attention to what you're thinking about and bring it back for a certain situation where it's going to help? Well, today I'm going to show you exactly how we do that <clears throat> and we're going to do it inside of Evernote. So let's dive in. All right, guys, so we're inside my Evernote now. Uh, I use a method from the great Tiago Forte called PARA. And PARA stands for Projects, Areas, Resources, and Archive. And I'm going to explain what this looks like in just a little bit here. Now, Evernote, I've been using since 2011, believe it or not. Um, I love it. I have uh, thousands of notes in here. I've switched a few times, switched to Apple Notes, then switched to um, Notion, um, switched to Obsidian, tried a few different ones, but I keep coming back to Evernote because it just does what I want it to do. It's notes and it does a couple other things that are great. So I love Evernote, but you can use whatever note taking system you want as long as you can use folders and stuff like that in there. <clears throat> so um, you can see on my home screen here, I have uh, notes up here. You can go through suggested recent notes. Um, I have tasks that are built in, which we'll get to. Notebooks, which are super important. And then recently captured. If I've clipped things from the web, if I've um, emailed myself some information, if I've captured images, they all come up here. So why is this important in the first place? Well, if you're anything like me, you take a lot of notes. Now, this is my um, inbox. Um, and the inbox is a folder that I set to be the default folder for any and all notes. So any notes that I take down here will go directly to the inbox. And what I do is every single week I go to the inbox and I put them into the corresponding folders that are important to them. So instead of just having full, um, notes everywhere, we're actually going to organize them. And I do this on a weekly basis. So typically um, throughout the week, <clears throat> I'll usually take anywhere from 10 to 20 notes um, on different things and different thoughts I'm having. And then we're going to go ahead and organize them. Now, why is this even important to organize them? So this is where Para comes in. And if you haven't read the book, Build a Second Brain, this is where this comes from. And it's genius and it's helped me tremendously to be productive with the notes I'm taking. So uh, let me close these up here and I'll show you what all these are. <clears throat> so you can see right here that I have four folders. I have the inbox, obviously, and I have four other folders right here. So projects, areas, resources, and archive. Basically, if a note that I've got I bring it down to projects. If I don't have a current project, I'll bring it down to areas. If I don't have an area it fits into, I take it to resources. And if it's not relevant right now, I put it in the archive. Now let's define what all these mean. Projects are things that I'm working on that have a specific deadline that I'm getting towards. Okay, so you can see mine right here are current clients. They all have deadlines. If they're a current client, that means they're um, looking at properties, buying properties, whatever that looks like. Okay, so really the shelf life of that person in my business uh, in terms of this right, uh, this transaction right now has a, has a timeline on it. Uh, leads have a timeline on it because I need to get to them quickly and I need to make sure that we follow up with them in uh, time. Uh, this is some stuff that um, Mike Sherrard and myself are working on. I can't show you, it's top secret. Um, I'm hiring a new VA for some admin assistant stuff. So that has a timeline. I need to hire that person within the next 10 days. I've got uh, a couple of presentations. I've got one this week that I need to be ready for on Thursday. So I need to finish up that. <clears throat> I'm building out a school platform for my um, my group in uh, Wolfpack Elevation. Um, I have a couple more things to do to it before it's perfect, so I'm going to finish that. And then I have a couple of things that I do within my mentorship group. <clears throat> so that's projects. You can see the things that I'm working on right now that have deadlines. All right, let's look at the next one. Areas. Areas are similar. There are things that I'm always constantly working on or thinking on or that are important in my life, but they don't have a deadline on them. It's things that can be around forever, but I'm always constantly working on them. So let's have a kind of a look here. Content creation. So I make videos, I make content all the time. They don't have a specific deadline on them. If it was like a course I was making, I would put it in the projects, right? Because I need to launch it by a certain date. But content creation is just something that I do all the time. 
Uh, father, this is just like how I can be a better dad, stuff to do with my kids, all that jazz. Finances, obviously always working on that. Gold Group is Mackenzie and I's production. Um, so all this stuff that's relevant to our production business. Health and fitness, I'm big uh, in on that. So, you know, just different notes, different things, journaling my um, jujitsu journey and weightlifting stuff. Uh, husband, same as father. Uh, jujitsu, I document techniques, different things that we're doing. Recipes, this is stuff that I do on the grill or smoke or whatever. Um, my newsletter that I run out every Monday, I have stuff that's going on in there. Personal excellence, excellence has been the year, the word for my year this year. So I, uh, things that, you know, I can just take um, encouragement from and stuff like that. It might be a podcast to listen to, it might be, you know, a, a, a quote that I heard, whatever, I'll just throw them right in here. Wolfpack Elevation, that is my group at EXP that I am always working diligently on. And then YouTube. YouTube uh, is again another, it could be within content creation, I just keep it separate. So you can see that's what I'm saying. I work on these things all the time. They just don't have deadlines, but they're super important to me. Uh, next one here, resources. So these are things that have no deadline <clears throat> and I'm not constantly working on them all the time but they are relevant to my business or my life or what I'm trying to do. So I've got your EXP here. So stuff to do with the brokerage stuff, maybe I should know stuff that I can pull from if I'm doing presentations, whatever that looks like. Uh, future pacing vision. This is something I'm big into is a future pacing, you know, what I'm doing with my business and in life and really creating vision for myself. Listening Agent Academy was, uh, uh, was Brandon Morenden's program. It's awesome. It's just uh, stuff to do with that. Marketing is obviously a big one. Um, Megan Aller market updates, that's a, a title rep here who does phenomenal market updates. So I just keep a lot of notes in there that I can pull data from. Social media, why is that not in the areas? Because I hate social media, you guys know this, but I have relevant topics in there. Stress and self-doubt, again, things I work on. And then um, Wolfpack leadership calls is, is part of what we do. Uh, so you can see between areas and resources, you could put one or the other. It's really up to you. There's no rhyme or reason for this. Um, you can just kind of delegate where things should go. And then archive is just things that I used to take a lot of notes on when I was in the fitness business, when I was DJing, music, all this different stuff right here that I don't have any relevancy for anymore. Not to say that it can't be done in the future, but not right now. So at the end of each week, I'll look at all the notes that I've taken and I'm going to figure out where to put all this stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and open. Um, I typically just keep open um, projects, areas and resources. So let's see what's right here. This was an article inside of Tiago Forte's uh, newsletter all about um, escaping the, the uh, reactivity loop, which is uh, I've talked about this on the channel before. You know, you get distracted, you keep reacting to things instead of doing deep work. So this is something that for me, like I like to create content on this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right into content creation. Now, here's a tax um, meeting that I had with our accountant recently. So I'm going to throw that over to finances. Uh, Google Prisons Business Profile. This is a really cool um, learning experience that I got from Peter Tulin. You might have seen him on my channel or Mike's channel. Uh, phenomenal. Um, his channel is amazing, actually. I'll put a link to it up here. But check it out if you've not seen it before. All about how to master Google for your business. So from that, <clears throat> it's all about Google Business Profile. I'm going to take this over. See, and again, I look at projects first. Do I have a project, a current project that this could go into? uh no not right now so next down areas uh, i've definitely got an area this could go into so i'm just going to and go and take this right into golf group because that is our production again website seo uh, i need to get a little bit, bit dialed in on this again i started projects do i have anything in my projects that this can go into not right now so this can go again back into golf group right there <clears throat> Got group meeting minutes, you, well, actually, this is all about content. This is content that we're going to start putting out. Really, it was the gist of the meeting. So instead of just throwing that into Gold Group, which you may do, <clears throat> I'm actually going to put that into uh, YouTube. So I'm going to bring that over into YouTube because there's a ton of ideas for us to do for videos right there. Uh, this is a podcast uh, series that myself and Mike are going to be running out. So I'm going to uh, take that over to Mike and Louis. Again, this was a meeting that we had and uh, for a bunch of cool stuff that we were doing. Again, I'm going to take this over here. Uh, unless you haven't figured it out yet, 2023 is going to be a big year <laughs> for a lot of things that we were doing. Um, this was, I took this from EXPCon, um, a replay that I checked out and Tony, uh, no, not EXPCon, uh, the build event. And um, 
Tony Robbins was uh, talking and you know I just titled it Tony Robbins Zingers <laughs> because it was pretty dope a lot of the things he was saying. So what I would do in this case is you know I don't have really any current projects that this would fit into. Nope. Uh, I'm looking at areas. Mm, could go in personal excellence but not really. Really I'm going to look at what this is all talking about you know wealth get to have to choose to do it reputation action without purpose is work complexity is the enemy of execution you know i'm going to take this and i'm going to put it right into future patient and vision okay because that's what it uh, talks about these are clients of ours that we are working with right now so i'm going to take this over to current clients um, this is um, something that i'm doing with my group um, so i'm going to go ahead and take this into uh, Wolfpack Elevation because this is what I do with them. Something I built out for them right here. Boom, and that's it. And it's really cool now because I went from having like 10 uh, notes I had taken just randomly through the week, throwing things down, doing different things, but now they're actually in the things, the places where I need them to be. So if I've got projects going on, right, and I come to, for instance, like <clears throat> School for Elevation, I'll click here, and all my um, notes on the topic are right here because these are different things that I've, I've taken down, written about, you know, researched about that thing. So when I'm working on a school platform, I'll have this over on a another tab and I can see exactly different notes I've taken down to reference from. Uh, you know, new VA hire, there's only one note in there right now, but you know, I'm hiring a new VA to do a bunch of stuff. Here's all the stuff that um, myself and Mike are talking about, you know, leads, current clients, and so on and so forth. You know, we get down a little bit here content creation you can see there's a ton of stuff in here and it's really really cool so it's a great way to organize your notes because you don't have to really search and find a needle in the haystack where's that thing i was thinking about because we're changing the narrative here instead of trying to randomize and think about notes we're thinking about it in terms of things we're doing right now so these are the things that i'm focused on right now the deep work that i'm doing is right here so I shouldn't need to think about notes that are all in here and, and, and causing a bit of chaos. You know, for presentations, I just click in here and I get to what I'm trying to do. The Eisenhower Matrix presentation is what I'm going to be running out soon. So you can see how this works. It's super powerful. Tiago explains it way better than I do. So check out some of his videos for sure. And it's a really awesome way to organize my notes. I found that it's been way more powerful for me to get things done, to streamline my work, to be in my deep work and really crush things as I'm going along because I can just reference my notes super, super duper quick. So that's how I do notes inside of Evernote. Like I said, you could do it in Apple Notes, you could do it in Notion, you could do it wherever you want. I like Evernote because it's super clean and we're gonna do a few more videos on Evernote of different things I like, like tasks and all this as well. So there you go, guys. Like I said, you don't have to be using Evernote, you could be using Apple Notes, you could be using any kind of notepad that you want, but this strategic way of filing projects, areas, resources, and archives is very powerful and it will streamline the way that you actually think and the way you take notes and the way you use those notes in your future. So I can't recommend this highly enough. All right, guys, that's it from me for the day. Remember, check out Peter's channel that I was talking about with the Google stuff just to give him another shout out. I have a weekly email that I was talking about here, the Maximize Mondays newsletter. If you want to sign up for that, you can click the link below here as well. Myself and Mike have a mastermind launching pretty soon here, I promise. There's a link for that too, so you can check out all those things. Hit me up if you have any questions. Have a good one.